Okay, after this, you're going to be a level three pulley expert, and you're going to be not afraid of pulley anymore. Okay, let's see if we can work a little pulley problem here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, man, after that, in one session? Yeah, that's how easy they are. Here we go. We're going to start here. Okay, you got to, and the thing is, is that you, you're going to draw some free body diagrams. We're going to try and let the, what ropes do we have to cut to let the pulleys hit the floor? Okay. But the thing is, you can't cut through more than one rope at a time, okay? So let's look at this first system here. How many ropes are in this system? Well, let's follow it. It's one rope, okay? So where do I make that hit the floor? If I wanted to drop that on the floor, where would I cut through this system to make that hit the floor? Let the pulleys hit the floor. Ready? What? What if I just cut it right through there, okay? And then I've got this, bam, 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 okay? How many ropes did I cut through? What do we know about the tension of a rope going around a pulley? That it's the same on both sides of the pulley, right? So if this is T, then that's T, and that's T, and that's T. So what do I have? Four T's going up and 100 pounds going down. So anybody want to go for what's the, the uh, tension in the rope? T. I'll put it up here. T is equal to 25 pounds, right? Sum of the force in the Y equals 4T minus 100 equals zero. Okay? But wait a minute, Dr. Hanson. What about that one? What did that one do? He didn't do anything, did he? The only thing that this last rope does, this last pulley up here, it doesn't give me any more mechanical advantage, but what it does is instead of pulling up on the system, which I could have done, right? It just changed the direction of the rope so that now it's pulling down on the system. That's all that changed, okay? So this guy didn't give me a mechanical advantage. He just changed the direction. So let's try this guy, okay? With that, that knowledge, this one ought to be easy, right? How many ropes? Well, uh, one rope. Let's let it hit the floor then, shall we? Okay. How many ropes did I cut through? I cut through one two, three, and what do I know about these ropes? That's T, that's T, and that's T. Anyone want to guess what this one is? Okay, tension the rope, 33.3. Okay, how about this one? Oh, how many ropes? Okay, now this one, okay, it's tied off in the middle of this pulley here, okay? It's tied off right there. So this is one rope, and this is the second rope here, okay? So I've got two different ropes. So first I wanna look at just the, the, the ropes that are holding up the 100 pounds, okay? So I'm gonna cut it right through there, okay? So what do I have? Uh, 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 right? T, T, T. So, I got 100 going down, I got three T's going up, so T must be this guy. Well, let's call him, it's, well, we can call him T1. How about that? We'll call this guy up here T2. Okay, so three T1s equals 100 going down. So T1 is equal to, uh oh, 33.3 pounds. Okay, now let's go look at the next pulley. So what, if that's true, what's pulling down on this pulley? Okay, well, 33.33 is pulling down. How many ropes are pulling up? Let's cut it right through there. One, two, three. T, two, T, uh oh. Stop that. Okay, T, two, and then this guy over here, T, two, right? This is the last one. So guess what T2 is? Eleven point eleven. Okay. So the trick here is cut it where this whole thing would fall off, right? But don't cut through more than one rope at a time, okay? Because if I cut through more than one rope at a time, my sum of the forces in the Y would have two unknowns instead of just one unknown, and that's no good, all right? Let's look at this one. All right, so I'm gonna give ourselves some room here.
Okay. So what 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 are you doing here, fella? Okay. Find the force in the rope. Okay. How many ropes are in this system? One. Just one rope. Okay. And find the force of the man on the platform. Uh oh. We need to get our calculator. Are you ready? A man is 90 kilograms. Let's see, there's a 90 kilograms times 2.2 pounds per kilogram. Ooh, that guy weighs 198 pounds. So it should say boy here because you can't, everybody knows you can't be a man until you're 200 pounds, right? I mean, clearly. <laughs> okay, just a joke, come on. All right, so let's see here. So find the force of the man on the platform. So in other words, if the man is sitting on a bathroom scale here, how much does, what does the scale read? Okay, so first let's do the, uh, the man on the, the, the force and the rope. Okay, so here we go. So here's the deal. Does the, does the rope know that the man is holding it? What's the difference than the man holding it or if the rope was just tied off to the platform? Is there a difference? Does the rope know any difference? No, okay. So, how many times do I have to cut that rope to let that man hit the floor, right? Oh, let's see. And the, the man is 90 kilograms. There's that. And the, and the platform itself is 10 kilograms. So, how much, how much weight is this thing supporting? Right, here you go. Here's the whole thing, right? Uh... So that would be like cutting it right through here, right? Right? So I've got a force there, 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 and there that's holding that system up. So that's, since it's the same rope, this would be T and T and T and T and T. And what's going down? Well, it's the, the man plus the, um, the weight of the platform. So that's 100 kilograms. All right, calculator, where are you? All right, first thing we better check, is that is that really a man? 90 times 2.2 .2 pounds per kilogram is 198 pounds. You can't be a man until you're 200 pounds, so he's like two pounds short. One more cheeseburger and he'll be there, right? <laughs> it's a joke, y'all, come on. All right, so 100 kilograms times 9.81, we gotta get that Newtons, equals 981 Newtons, okay? So what do I have there? If I just sum the force in the Y, I have one, two, three, four, five T's going up, minus 981 Newtons going down, so 981 divided by five, T is 196.2. So there is the force in the rope, the force in the rope. Okay, so what about if the man is sitting on a scale, what does the scale read, okay? And I got one for you, okay? Here I am, full man size, 220 pounds, standing on a scale, right? But there's a rope hanging from the ceiling, right? And I grab that rope and I pull down on it, right? Now, what do I read now? Am I gonna read 220? If I pull down on that rope, I'm going to be essentially lifting myself up, right? So I'm going to weigh less. So I weigh my weight minus the amount that I'm pulling up on the rope, okay? So what does the guy weigh? He weighs 90 kilograms, 90 times 9.81. That's 882.9. So the guy weighs 882.9 kilograms, right? Now, if he just sat on the scale normally, that's what he would weigh. Not kilograms, newtons. Sorry. Hey, that's what he would weigh. Except he's pulling on a rope. How hard is he pulling on the rope? Well, he's pulling 196.2 newtons. So minus 196.2 newtons, okay? And so the scale would read uh, minus 196.2 
686.7. Okay, and that's what the scale would read. So there's tension in the rope. There's the reading on the scale. All right, we got one more to go. Bam, that guy. This one's a little bit harder. Let me erase the board. All right, gang, last problem. Let's see if we can do this one. All right, now, they tell us that T max of any rope is 1,500 newtons. So first question, how many ropes are there? And let's just number them, okay? Okay, so uh, rope number one. This guy right here, that's rope number two. Um, this is rope number three. There's a little rope right there that'll be rope number four. And there's one more rope right there, rope number five, okay? And I think that's going to be important because it's possible here, if you'll agree with me, that all five ropes can have different tensions in them, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at one pulley at a time, and we're going to do a free body of that pulley. Okay, let me get another color. Okay, so let's say we look at this free body here, okay? Just that guy. What are we going to see? Okay, well, here he is. Here he is right there. And he has one rope going down. We'll call that T1 and two ropes going up. T2, T2. Now from that, it ought to be pretty easy, right? Sum of the force in the Y, we get what? T1 is equal to 2T2, okay? Now, we're just going to do the same thing over and over. Let's do the next pulley over, okay? We'll do this pulley. Okay, and that pulley, like that, has one rope pulling up on it, which is uh, T3, right? And it has two ropes pulling down on it, which is uh, T2. So we get this, that uh, T3 is equal to two T2s. Ooh, and from that, T1 and T3 have to be the same, don't they? T1 equals T3. Those two have to be the same. All right. Next pulley, please. We'll try this guy up here. Okay. And let's see what we get here. Well, that pulley looks like this. One rope going up, which is T4, and two ropes going down, which is T3, right? And so from that, I get T4 is equal to 2T3. And one more pulley to go, gang. This last one over here. Okay. And the last one has one going down, T5, and two going up that are T3s. So from that, I get one more equation that says T5 is equal to 2T3. And now I know another one, T4 is equal to T5, okay? There you go. Now, I can write one more equation with my free body diagram tool. I've got my red free body diagram crookie cutter here. What if I just isolate the, the plank itself, okay? Well, what would that look like? It look like this. I'd have a, there's the plank. It's got W. And then I cut through, what did I cut through? I cut through T5. I cut through, what is that, a T2. And I cut through T1, didn't I? Okay. So T max is 1,500. Who are we going to make 1,500? All right, let's see. We'll make T2 1,500. Well, then that means that T1 is 3,000. Okay, that's no good. What if T1 is 1,500? Okay, then T2 would be 750. Uh, then, then that would be 1,500, right? Uh-oh. Uh so if T3 is 1,500, then T4 is 3,000. So that's no... So... Here's the weakest link. And these two are the same, right? These two are equal to each other, right? So we're going to do this. We're going to set 
T5 or T4, it doesn't matter. They're both the same to 1500, okay? Real quickly, just in our head, we've determined which one's the weakest link, right? So what do we get here? So we get uh, T4 equals 1500, T5 equals 1500, okay? This is pounds or is newtons? I can't remember. Oh, newtons. Newtons, not pounds. Sorry, this is America. We write pounds, man. <laughs> I know, it's really silly. We should be on the metric system too. All right, let's do T3. Well, let's see. If that guy is 1,500 divided by two, T3 is 750. And T1 also 750. And so the last one is um, T2. Let's see, divide by two, 750 divided by two, T2, 375. So one more step is, oh, they're asking us what is W? Well, we got it now, don't we? Because just the sum of the force in the Y equals T5 plus T2 plus T1 minus W. So W is equal to T1 plus T5 plus T2. So let's see, on clear, so what is that? T, T5 is 1,500 plus T2 is 375 plus T1 is 750. 2,625. So if the board weighs 2,625 newtons, no rope will be over 1,500. There will be two of them. They'll be at 1,500, but no ropes will be broken. Okay. So remember, the secret here on pulleys is you can only cut through one rope at a time. Otherwise, you have too many uncondoms, okay? So are we experts at pulleys now? We're not afraid of pulleys, are we? Come on. Bring it on.